Hi, this is Ms. Hang. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to simplify radicals that involve variable expressions. So, we have the square root of 72 x squared y cubed. So again, I'm going to think of what factors that multiply together that give me each of these variable terms and numerical terms. So 72, I'm going to break it down to 36 times 2. Hopefully you recognize that 36 is a perfect square. Um, with the x squared, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as x squared. And to break down y cubed, I'm going to use um, a property that we learned in chapter 8. The multiplication properties of exponents tells me y squared times y to the first power is y cubed. So as we learned before in the next step, now the square root of 36 is 6. 2 is not a perfect square number, so I'm going to keep it as a radical expression, rad2. Now, as we learned in a previous lesson, the square root and this power of 2 will cancel out, and that's where the x comes from. Same thing applies with the y. And the square root of y, we're going to keep it just in radical form. So our final answer, we're going to multiply the 6xy all together. And then we're going to multiply the radicands together, 2 and y. So when you're doing this, constantly always be thinking about what factors multiply together. And hopefully one of those factors is a perfect square term. And go ahead and watch this and another video that I've loaded regarding simplifying radicals that just contain numerical um, expressions. There are no variables involved. Hopefully both of those videos will help you understand this concept better. Thanks.